Hello everyone. Today we are going to see what should be the return type of main. We have heard a lot about main like some say it should be void main, some say it is int main. Now if it is int main and you are supposed to return a value, who is going to collect the value? Okay, so all these questions which arises with respect to the return type of the main. So all these things we are trying to clarify this. First, let us try to see void main. And let us observe that is this correct or not. So I have just written void main. I would like to compile this out here. GCC, the file name dot C. Without any wall option, you can observe there is no warning. So we take this for granted. So let us try to compile with wall and you can observe that it basically gives me a warning stating that return type of main is not int. So this indicates that void is not the correct one to write but in case if it you write void main it's okay that's not a problem but let us look into the g++ compiler and observe that what does the g++ compiler provide now when i try to compile with g++ compiler you can observe that it is not even a warning it's an error stating that the main return type should be integer otherwise it's an incorrect so from this we can understand that in C++ the return type has to be main, so the return type of the main has to be integer as well as in C also the correct one should be an integer but it might not give you an error okay but we have to always follow the correct ones. Now going back to what Dennis Ritchie talks about the return type of main. Let us go back to Dennis Ritchie's book and let us try to understand what he has written. Let's move to the section, the first chapter, section 1.7. This is section 1.7, wherein he talks about functions. Now, if you just scroll down after talking about all the explanation about the program, here we can observe this. He says that since main is a function like any other, it may return a value to its caller, which is in effect the environment in which the program was executed. It also says that Typically, a return value of 0 implies normal termination, non-zero value signals an unusual or an erroneous termination condition. Right? So, from Dennis Ritchie's book also, we can get to know that the return type of main should be an integer. So, we have seen from the compiler point of view, we also seen from Dennis Ritchie's point of view that return type of main should be integer. Right, And we also seen that it says that we generally write return 0 indicating that a program has terminated successfully. Right? Now let us try to compile this particular code and observe that do we have any kind of warnings or not. I am trying to compile with GCC with the wall option, no problem. I am also compiling with G++ there is no problem. Now the next sentence what Richie was telling is the return value whatever you return is returned to the environment right the or you can say the program through which your program was invoked in this particular case we are using a bash shell and you are launching your program through the shell prompt now you generally write this dot slash a dot out now if you want to know the status of the last executed command or you can see the return value of the last executed command we can use the command echo dollar question mark this gives me the value of the last executed command in our case it was a dot out so we saw the output as zero now let's try to change this let us try to change some value here let us say some six now let us try to recompile this Let's try to run this code and let's try to verify this. So from this what we could observe is whatever you return the value from the main is being collected by the environment. But as a standard we basically return 0 indicating that it's a successful termination of the program. But in case if you have to terminate to the program in between because you have not passed required number of command line arguments or okay you are supposed to work with files and then you are unable to open the file so you cannot 
continue your program further you want to terminate the program in between in such situations we generally return the value 1 either through return statement in the main or we use exit function to return the status of the program this is the same standard which has been followed by all the commands let's take a simple example of some of the linux commands let's say we would let us we want to create a directory called as mk okay with the help of mkdir and let me just say that I would like to work with functions. I would like to create a directory by name function. Okay. So general syntax of the MKDR is the command name followed by the directory name. Now, I don't want to give the directory name. I'm just giving MKDR. And if I just press the enter, from this what we understood is the command was not successfully completed. So I'd like to observe this echo dollar question mark. You could see the return value is 1. Now I'd like to write a successful command. Let us say I'd like to create a function. Make sure that we don't have this directory already existing. Only in that particular case the directory creation will be successful. So done. Now I'd like to run this command. You can observe this. So from this also we can observe that. Okay, the general standard is when a command or a program terminates normally, we return 0. Otherwise we return 1 right going with the same standard we should return zero right okay now if you want to increase the readability of the program stating that okay zero and one are not really self-explanatory you can include a header file called as stdlib.h and then you can use the macros exit underscore success so this is a macro for the value 0 now let me try to recompile this program here and let me try to execute this and also let me just try to but in case if you want to terminate stating that it was not successful so we have a macro called as exit underscore failure so let's try to compile this and observe this. Right. I hope now it is clear what should be the return type of main and why do we return 0 and who is going to collect that return value return for the main function. Thanks for listening to the lecture guys. Thank you.